What is up guys, it is Smashcraft9 here, and today I just wanted to show you guys how to, how most Hunger Games servers work, and, uh, if you go on a lot of different Hunger Games servers, you're probably guaranteed to get onto one of these, if you've been playing for a while, and it should look like this, and I just got 20 levels from my machine right there, and it basically is like this, and just wanted to show you guys how to, it works. And I just didn't want to put a sign because I don't want to use my essentials right now. So it teleports you here to this little place and sets your spawn point up there. And it, the countdown is going to start to go. And then you can go. And it's going to stay down until it's not, it's, the lever is pulled down. And there's all different things that you can get. And if you are while you're playing if you die that's why i should probably take it out if you die and respawn is going to teleport you right here because i set your spawn point there and that's how basically it works if you guys would like to see how it was built stay tuned and i'll see you there Okay guys, I'm back, and I just wanted to show you guys how to build this. I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, never mind. I'll show you guys how to build, like, this thing. You can make your own if you want to, but basically, I'm just gonna fly away a little bit, and basically, you started out with making a hole like this. Make a hole like this. And then just add uh, your block, whatever you, okay, this is what you need. Redstone, redstone repeater, redstone torch, any source block, sticky piston, command block, sandstone. If you don't know how to get a command block, you have to do slash give your name and then 137 and it gives you one, one of these. And after this, you're gonna put sticky pistons facing upward with your source block and then you're gonna sort of do this around it you don't need that part but like this this is how it should look like and after that you do that same thing again you just continue on and then you this is where your redstone repeater you're gonna make your face there that way that way and that way now it po is, is powering all of them then you just connect the redstone all around so it's kind of like a circle and then to check if it works you should click it and they all should come up and you're probably asking me why do you have to do that why can't you just have a pressure plate here and the reason you can't is because if you are on the pressure plate it won't go back down you need it to be like this or else well, this is how it's going to be. It's going to be on, and then it's going to turn off. And then, I don't want it facing that way, so now you're going to dig two off to one of the corners, no matter which way. And then you're going to put one block right there. Then you're going to get your redstone torch and put it on the block. So now it should be powering them all. And then you can just make kind of a tunnel connecting redstone facing the redstone torch. So then when this lights up... It falls down and when it breaks it goes back up and now is basically when it starts the command blocks and basically it's gonna be going that way so you're gonna need to do something like this let's just build off really far you just need a two by two by two form going like not really two by two it's like really long it should look like this and then you're gonna start instead of putting it there you probably want to connect it like this going like this you should put ten one two three four five not connecting six six seven eight nine and now we need one more 
and in between all of these there's gonna be a command block and I know you can just put a command block here it just that doesn't always work so here you go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and when you're building the repeaters make sure to leave a gap in between them so then you can connect the redstone like that and then where the redstone is you're gonna make holes just one block down like this to the side and once you're finished with that you're gonna go from the top from where it start from where it ended and you're gonna put it placed on a command block right click it and do slash s a y and then space 10 and then right here you can do slash say 9 and you just continue on slash say 8 and you just continue doing this until it is finished slash say 6 and it is just gonna say 6 slash say 5 slash say 5 slash say 4 slash say 3 slash say 2 and last one slash say one and basically like i did there there's the little lever or the sign whichever one of you have essentials it's gonna click it i'm not gonna do that right now i'll do that at the end of the video but after that you're just gonna kind of make a long long path like twice as big as the other one because this is where the redstone repeater is waiting for people to join the game and after that you can just add repeaters on full make sure they're on the third notch all the way to the end so that gives people time to join the arena or if you don't want to you can just make everybody join so you don't have to wait but I like this way because it just seems better and after that you can test it you can click you can place down place down a redstone torch and it's just gonna go and then it's gonna say 10 9 yeah and see how fast that went to make that not as fast you're gonna want to do this you're gonna want to put these on their full notch too on their last notch so one two three you just have to click each one three times and then it's gonna go to their max notch and then it will give like 10 9 8 7 still giving you time you can put more than just that but see this gives people time and then when you're in it waiting when it comes see it says four three two one it goes you can run and now is where the most complicated part is uh you can pretty much guess how much you'll need i to be exact if you guys want to do exactly what i did i put one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen uh redstone repeaters and then the rest on full like that and then you can just cover it up and whatever you want and this is how you're gonna assign to the arena you can have like a little wall and then let's just grab a lever and this is where it's gonna start we can just get rid of these blocks and as you can see it lights and here you're gonna put one uh, command block another redstone repeater facing outwards not towards this with another command block and after that you can see that it will power both because this one has turned on and right here it's gonna teleport you so you want to get the coordinates you're just gonna get in here look straight at one block and do FN F3 but for PC users you just have to do F3 and it's 289 you need to get the X the Y and the Z and the Z so 289 55 38 we're just gonna get half 289 and then slash tp and this means to teleport the nearest player i like doing all players so this will teleport all the players and then 
Let's get back to the place to see what we were at. Okay, 289. 289. Space done. Let's go back here. 289.55. Type 55. Get back in here. 289.55.38. 38. Okay, and now what this has done is when you start the arena, it's going to teleport you in here. And you're probably thinking, well, if you're in survival, you can probably break this before it starts. The truth is you can't break the gold block, you can break the sticky piston, but that's why I recommend either hiding it better or uh, you can just use essentials to block it and not to break anything because that's how most servers work. And as you can see, I'm just gonna get out of the F3 because I took a screenshot of that. And see, it teleports you here and this is what's also going to start it. This is what starts the arena. So you can have something like this, or you can just do this, which I think it looks better. And you can disguise it 10 times better. And it will teleport you. Enough for the next command. You're gonna probably wanna set your spawn point to your main place. So let's just get some glass. This is just in case if they die. So I'm just gonna make the uh, like a quick box because I really don't want to spend too much time doing this box because I just want to show you guys what the main thing is about. And basically like this, I'm just gonna kind of a roof. And this is really important because you're gonna want to make everybody's spawn point go right here so we can just make a gold block right here do f and three facing straight 280 okay 280 you're gonna do slash spawn point and then all the players let's get it back in here because i don't want to get it we're gonna have to start over 280 so, 280. And if it has a negativity, like negative 280, you have to put the negative sign. Okay, 56. 56. You can just memorize it or write it down. You don't have to do what I'm doing. I just don't feel like getting a piece of paper right now. 280, 56, 49. Okay. 49. Uh, now we can get out of this. So when it starts, it's gonna teleport you. I'm not sure what I did wrong with this. Spawn point. Get a T. Slash spawn point. And you have to be careful with that because if you really fastly click uh, the delete button, the backspace, uh, that's what's gonna happen and then after that that should is gonna power this which is gonna go with the countdown and then look if you kill yourself well if someone kills you you're gonna respawn into the box and then you can watch the game go on and let's just pick up my things that I had here let's get night time and the reason it's gonna give me XP slash time is because I set up a little thing see given 20 levels because that's one of my other things that I might show later and now that it sets your spawn point you want to take it out and you want to connect this or you can use from whatever is done I just like having a second source and then you can more or less see where it should be now we're just gonna you're just gonna want to connect uh, two by two so you can walk into it and until the end so it will start so that when you press it it teleports you so it's your spawn point and it will start so let's just break this we're almost there let's 
connect this out. And after that, you just can connect the redstone. Make sure it's facing that way. Can't be facing like that way or else it's gonna get messed up. And you can kind of fill it in so that it doesn't die out on the way. Like so. Okay, let's hope I'm doing enough for Peters. Okay. And after that, you can connect it with the redstone. Like this. So, it's gonna teleport you, and it's gonna start slowly, but you're gonna be in here waiting for it to go. And it's gonna start counting down, and it turns to zero, because if, if you turn this off, it's gonna turn it off. And then this won't stay down, it's gonna go back up. I like just keeping it down or using a sign. It's just easier. But I just don't have the sentries in the server right now. But see how it just turned back on? It's because I turned it off. And then you can more or less, see where I'm going with this, you can just cover this up with a block. And you can add more. You can, uh, you guys pretty much get the feeling of filling this in. I'm just gonna do this kind of quickly because I don't want to waste time. Okay, I should probably fly. There you go. Let's also add this up. Switch. Put this on like this. And you can do this, and you can build like a little room around it, so nobody will break in. I like this. And you can make it so when everybody teleports, you can make everybody teleport, how I did there. So if there's like three other people into the server, they're all going to teleport here. Or if you want to make more, you'll need more levers and more command blocks. And then you can just get a chest, and just get some chest, doesn't really matter what order, and... Then you can put things in it, and you have your hunk games. I did it neater up there. But I'll show you how the final draft is. Let's just make walls right here. There we go. So you start the game. It's going to teleport you here, and it's going to set your spawn point over there. It's starting for letting two people join, and then it's going to start the countdown. It's going to get up. You can do that. And then you go, get stuff from your chests, and if you die, say someone kills you, you respawn, and then you can watch the game until the next person plays it, and you want to make it a distance so you can't get back into the game, see, you can't reach that, only if you break it, and this is to turn it off. When you're finished, you want to make sure it's, like, not pu pulled down so that this will shoot back up and it will shoot back up so that when you start it teleports you here with this down and I don't really feel a, it's a good idea it was just for the tutorial to have it so close I would have this like really deep into like bedrock so that the person who knows where it is can just start it and nobody can start a new game without him and that's basically how most Hunger Games servers work. If you guys would like to see more tutorials and more gameplay with uh, other people, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And it would be awesome if I could get 10 likes on this video. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.